Welcome back to another maths video where I'll be going over recurring decimals and how to turn them into fractions. So first things first, what is a recurring decimal? Well, it's just a decimal that keeps on repeating forever. So an example could be 0 0.11111 and so on forever. Another could be 0 0.232323 and so on forever, where the 2 and the 3 keep repeating. Now in maths, the way we'd show that a decimal is recurring is by putting a dot over the digit that repeats. So in this case, the, the digit that repeats is the 1. So to show this in you know maths form, we just write out a 0 0.1 and then put a dot over the 1 to show that this is the one that repeats. And that's it. Likewise, for this example, we do 0 0.23 and put a dot over the 2 and the 3 because those are the two digits that repeat. Let's do another example. So if we had the, um, the decimal 0 0.15555, where only the 5 is repeating, we'd write that out as 0 0.15, but with the dot only over the 5, because that's the only digit that is repeating. So in an exam, you could be asked something like this. Show the decimal 0 0.5 recurring as a fraction. So if you remember, 0 0.5 recurring is the same as 0 0.555 forever. So how do we show that as a fraction? So the first step would be to set this equal to x, you know, a variable, something that we can work with. So x is equal to 0 0.555, etc. The next step would be to multiply x, which is 0 0.555, by 10. So we get 10x is equal to 5.555 and so on. Right? Because we're just shifting everything to the left. The final step would be to take this first part away from this second part. So subtract it. So what's 10x minus x? Well, that's 9x. And that's equal to 5.55555 recurring minus 0 0.55555 recurring. And what's that equal to? Well, it's equal to 5. And now we have a whole number that we can deal with. Instead of this long number, we have a single whole number. And hopefully you can see what we're going to do now. We're going to divide both sides by 9. The 9 and the 9 cancel out. And we're left with our final answer with x being equal to 5 over 9. And just like that, we've converted a really long, you know, everlasting decimal into a simple fraction. Now, another question you could be asked is to show the decimal 0 0.12, now this time with both digits recurring, as a fraction. So, how are we going to do that? So again, we'd start off by setting the decimal equal to x. So x is equal to 0 0.12, 1, 2, 1, 2, etc. So remember last time how we multiplied x and this by 10? Well, let's try doing that. So if we take 10x and multiply this by 10, we get 1.2121, sorry, 1, 2, etc. Now let's try subtracting. So what's 10x minus x? What's well, 9x? And what's 1.212121 minus 0.121212? Well, I'm not really too sure. But what I can tell is that it's not a whole number. And the whole point of doing this is to get a whole number so we can convert it into a fraction. So obviously, we can't multiply by 10. Let's try something else. So now, instead of multiplying by 10, let's multiply by 100. So we get 100x is equal to 12.12. 1, 2, 1, 2, and so on. And the main thing that you need to like understand here, why are we doing this? Well, it's so that we have the same digits on the right side of the decimal point in both of these. And that's because we need a whole number, right? So we can't have like a really, really long number that doesn't end in our fraction, because like you can't make a fraction out of that. We need a whole number for our fraction. And the only way we're going to do that is if we cancel these out to get a whole number. 
And so we need the same digits here and here so that when we subtract this from this in the next step, we can get our whole number. So for the final step, let's subtract this from this as usual. So what's 100x minus x? 99x. And that's equal to 12.1212121 minus 0.1212121. And remember, this and this need to be the same so that when we subtract them, we get a whole number which we can then put into our fraction. And indeed, they are the same. So when we subtract them, we get 12. And again, you can probably see where we're going with this. Well, let's divide both sides by 99. Cancel the 99 here and here. And we're left with our answer with x being equal to 12 over 99. And that is our final answer to this question. Let's take another example. So you could be asked to show the decimal 0 0.124 why just the 2 and the 4 are recurring as a fraction. So in case you forgot, this would be equal to 0 0.124, 24, 24, etc. Because it's just the 2 and the 4 that are repeating. So if we didn't have this 1 right here, things would be pretty simple, right? We just have to multiply by 100 and then subtract. But unfortunately for us, we do have the 1. So how do we go about making a fraction from this? Well, I'll do it first, and then I'll explain at the end. So for our first step, as usual, we'd set this equal to x. So x is equal to 0 0.12424, and so on. The second step is to multiply x by 10. So we get 1.242424. The third step would be to multiply this by a thousand. So we get a thousand x is equal to 124.2424 and so on. And now, hopefully things are starting to make sense. We can see that the digits here and here are the same. So we're going to get a whole number if we subtract. So let's do that. Let's subtract 3 and 2. So what's 1000x minus 10x? Well, that's 990x. And that's equal to 123. And so, let's divide both sides by 990. Cancel out the 990. And we're left with x is equal to 123 over 990. And that is our answer. So as you can see, we had to add an extra step in here. Multiply this by 10 as well as 1000 so that we can get the same digits on the right side of the decimal point. And that's pretty much it. Remember, you have to get the same digits on the right side of the, of the decimal point so that you can subtract and therefore get a whole number to put in your fraction. So thank you for watching. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.